This is a neat matchup. I have to fight the winner of this. Grind beneath my heel. All that exists. I hope it's not laggy for either of them. Killer Instinct was actually one of my first Game Boy games. Ooh. Nice darkness with the sick confirms. Focuses. Uh, uh, yeah, they're pausing. They feel it. They feel it. I hope this is just their connect team as a whole. Oh shit, Street Fighter Alpha. I don't know what games Alpha was on. I don't feel like there was a... Maybe there's an Alpha on Game Boy Color. But I don't think there was. Oh, the towards jab. That's a good whiff punish, I guess. He probably could have done towards fierce. I don't remember if that is more or less damage, but a sweep is kind of better for the knockdown. Knockdown's never been terribly important on Bison, though, has it? Kind of doesn't do anything. That was good. Bison got a lot more freedom to use that in every matchup ever since Ultra. It's pretty good. You get knockdowns. Alright, it doesn't appear to be that laggy from here. Gotta be a little careful against using focus stack against Bison with charge. He's got one of the best charge. He's got one of the best answers to focus stacks in the game in EX Sucker Crusher. Apparently a Steam update. I will update my Steam after this match. And by after this match, I mean after this set. Oh, wake up super would have been so tight there. But then again, Bison jumped. He might have been able to jump in time. Or he might have jumped in time, rather. Wake up super is a true one frame throw. If they're next to you. It's a nice little weapon that um, Oni, Evil Ryu, and Akuma keep in their back pocket. It's two out of three, yeah. You gotta win another one. And not lose. Lose only once. It would be harder to organize everyone on PS3. Um, it's harder to stream off of PS3. There's like a bunch of reasons. I think it would be laggier. South America, inland jungle. Fists will fly at this location. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! I got a friend request. Anyone who needed to add me on uh, friends, go ahead and do so. Bison's anti-air crouch fierce trading. Bison's got some very unreliable anti-air normals. Whoa, he didn't even no dash at all. The back dash would have been very good there. Four dash probably would have been able to get uh, a DP in time because Bison waited so long to release. Not you should never not dash. That's always a bad idea. Then again, it might be laggy. <laughs> wake up back dash. If he did wake up DP, he probably would have built the bar necessary to FADC. Can't report our own scores? Really? That's unusual. I'll check that out myself in a second. That was Stand Fierce range, sure. Oni. Oni can anti our most ranges with Stand Fierce. Derp Weasel is too late again. Derp Weasel perpetually too late. That's good. That's a good Ultra. He's probably gonna get all the hits. It's very difficult to get all the hits of Ultra 2 there.
Kiarkun has a big meter advantage. Or he might throw like a fireball off ADC to try and translate into a victory. Oh, that's that. DGI from Derp Weasel stands for Dick Gobblers Incorporated. Whoa! Ice, what's it left? Ice Darkness. He was my opponent. I'm gonna check Steam for an update before I do anything else. That's not what I meant to do. It just says up to date. Well, never mind. Might as well sort this out. Cannot invite the chat room. I'll at least invite him to group. I feel like at least once I've accidentally clicked ignore. Ice Darkness is back. Old Stylo. Isn't that scrafted? Okay. Scores have indeed been reported. And Ice Darkness added me to a friend list. Perhaps on accident. No, he left on accident. I hope that doesn't stay orange. Actually, I kind of hope it does, because Elena's better in Lag than Bison. Um, Kara being used to extend the range of moves was accidental and then intentional, the best that I can tell. That feels okay. Round start, jump in, medium kick. That's Selena. That's me. That's how I play. Gotta watch them toes. there anyway. What did it really do for me? Ouch. That is incredible. Oh my god. Thank you, Elena. Oh shit. That's just in my other ultra. <laughs> That's really not too bad though grand scheme of things. Oh, okay. I only hope that he doesn't know what I meant to do. Pro tip, yes. Damn. It's fine, he got no punish. Who blocks that correctly? That didn't kill me. Alright. Nice and lame. Damn, the blocks! I'm pretty sure I had a punish there. Ass your tits! Grab the crouch tech, by find a little bit later. It's a little laggy, I gotta admit. Gotta do that thing where I admit it's laggy. I was lame. 
I was lame and lag. That's an ugly game that I'd prefer not to talk about, but... I'm going right back in. Shit. I can't play Theolic until my next match. Sorry. I'm pretty sure I could punish that. I'm pretty sure that wasn't light. I wanted the toe tip, toe tip tag. <gasps> oh shit, he walked in through me. That's not what I wanted. That's not good. Ah, the car throw. Damn, the blocks are on point. Anti airs aren't there. because the background house. Whoa! Got hit out of the air though. Good anti air. Good anti airs. I mean. Hmm, I could have punished that. And instead, I got punished. That was a good punish. He should have had more confidence in himself. Wow, he did that like every time and I was pretty sure he wasn't going to do it that time. burned all my beater and died. I got that punish. Drops are just resets. Woo! I won. No, you can say ugh a thousand times for that match. That's how I feel too. Ugh. That was a very ugh match. I'm sorry. Steam is not so good today and I'm never very... Not laggy, if you know what I mean. Oh no, CJ has advanced. Um, Jaren, are you playing your game? Sage, half genie hero, who are you? What's going on? How can I help you resolve your game? Is it nearly done? Happy little resets, it's like my favorite. Laggy Elena's bottom three characters in the game to fight, I know. Hopefully it'll carry me to victory. Sorry everyone else. Sorry I entered my own tournament. Sorry I play Elena. Jaren is about to play. Who is Jeffros Ledger? He's probably in my Steam group. 
He's probably under the J's. Yes. Let's get both these guys. This is a high profile match. Maybe. Oh, so old style. I can't even touch that one until whoever else loses round G, which is theoretically happening momentarily. Jaren, get in here. Sage seems to be ripped in pepperonis. Sage, uh, this is your final warning before you get bumped on the losers. Where the fuck are you? And also, where the fuck are you? Um, Sage is on my friends list, I think. Let me see if I can locate him. You're already in my Steam group. I don't need any more friends. Sorry. Um, four question marks so he knows what's up. Jaren's here. I'm getting bad connections. Okay, that's more like it. Oh shit, that is worthy of a mod. Dude, there's like a fucking sloth in every single post. I like that. Jaren! 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 Okay. Oh, this is exactly the match I was expecting. Jaren, do you ever play CJ? I'm pretty sure this is theoretically difficult for DiCapri. I'm pretty sure this is a matchup that DiCapri loses. I could be completely wrong. I heard it said that DiCapri loses to grapplers. But I don't know how the truth value of that. I'm pretty sure that was a spin punish, even though it hit a little meaty. Hugo has a two frame SPD. I think that's usually a punish. I'm pretty sure Geef is her worst, but I could be completely wrong. Oh. That was very one-sided. You know, I've actually never seen a combo into the EX one. He can just not do anything. Yeah, and be safe. Oh, not a perfect. Jump back jab, very good. It's actually a really good option. Maybe not in the situation where he used it. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Is that a running bear? A meat squasher? The <laughs> jumps! I want to see like a reed uh, shoot down backbreaker. I feel like uh, several different kinds. I feel like shoot down backbreaker would often work here. That was a pretty lousy punish. He's landed two throws so far. That was some kind of fake. I'd have just gone straight to the the throw, but he was trying to bait a sting, I guess. That's usually, what early clap means. Um, it's looking bad. No, the third jump was a mistake. He could have done a forward jump on the third one. That would have actually been pretty good. I think he would have successfully dodged the ultra. Jaren could have chased him in and maybe badgered him into the ultra with some knives or something, but um, um, I think he had to win through a mix-up if that jump. But Jeffro just did the wrong jump. For what it's worth, Hugo's jump is kind of narrow and thus he has a little bit of trouble clearing that thing. He doesn't really... He doesn't have a great answer to it, I don't think. Which explains why Jaren is running Ultra 1. Jaren played very safe. The lag is almost definitely my fault, I start this. That's because I'm streaming. It could also be Steam's fault. That's also a possibility. Yeah, I feel like the less time you give DiCaprio to do anything, the worse a character she is. Aw, oh, there's an SPD. Sometimes you're going to be wrong as Hugo. It's the way the world works. That's safe, right? 
Can that be plus or is it always minus? Uh, he could have done two. What the fuck was that? Was that a drop? What the fuck, Jaren? You put down your controller. Hit back dash. Wow, something. He still needs like a really good guess to win. It's not over yet. I don't even think of 360 kills. He went for it. Yeah, Hugo's like dead here. I don't think there's a single thing he can do to live. You should not body splash. Ooh, the contest, the contesting the clap. Ooh, okay. Me squasher? I guess that has more long-term payoff. Could have gotten some nice clap damage there. The Me squasher gets the opponent in the corner, and it does actually similar damage. Universal overhead. He went for the link, even though he, the overhead was blocked. I think he could have done dash into command grab there. Darren can juggle to the ultra. This is gonna do a lot. It's not gonna kill. I think this is it. <laughs> yeah. Jaren played that really well. Nah, nah. It's alright, dude. I've never beaten Jaren in a set in a tournament. I've only won a couple games against him total. Ice Darkness won his game 2 0. You can report your own scores in theory. And also, Sage didn't say anything, so we're gonna tentatively remove him. And both Sage and Old Stylo apparently bounced, and they both got put into the same bracket. There's no way to make them both lose. I don't know what to think of your bison, dude. I don't know. I can't answer a question like that. What's up right now? Let's see Half Genie Hero versus my Onichan. Who the fuck is my Onichan? Who is that? Who are you? It won't give me the view aliases message. It's like not working for some reason. Who is that? Mysterious. This is a mysterious person. Up against Half Genie Hero. Representing Team Salt. He's already here. I have an Odin Chan, but he doesn't play fighting games. Ah, oh, it's Rob. I was about to ask who Rob was. Um, his alias. Haley. Like it means something. Haley, like a girl. I'm pretty sure Half Genie Hero is Shantai. Look at all these points. That's a lot of points. I'm pretty sure Bison wins this matchup. Pretty sure. Hail to Haley. I don't know who that is. Bison with reservations about anti airing Sakura. Whoa, missed stand medium kick. Alright, we're gonna tentatively assume the soccer is a woman type person. Oh, throw pressure. This is what soccer has to do. Soccer is like a command grab character without a command grab. Ugh. 
Bison's got a really big jump arc. You've got to walk under him and do like stand fierce, but even then that's really risky because his cross up is so big. I like that actually as a means of approach. It's one bar and it's safe and it leaves you with, I wouldn't say a mix up, but like, you're in. Imagine if Sakura had her. Whoa, it's over. I think this kills. Imagine if Sakura had her Street Fighter cross stack and jump strong. It didn't kill. That's honestly pretty sad. Ugh. Rob. Bison has a big jump. It's like the biggest jump for any character that isn't. doesn't have like a weird slow jump. In fact, it might actually be the biggest jump. I know Guys is pretty big too. There's a drop on the scissor kick cancel. He went for too many, I think. The Sakura's jump hard kick is pretty hard for Bison and Antier, I think. I think that Crouch Fierce and Stamina House can get stuffed or trade at best. So you really want to avoid anti airing Sakura or do things like Hell Attack or EX Psycho Crusher, unfortunately. Ooh, interesting combo. <laughs> that is not an ultra. He didn't even need an ultra. You have a lot of time to combo Bison's Ultra 1 there. Let them fall a bit. I don't think he had charge. That was really good that he went for that, though. That's like an underused combo for Bison players. It's not that good, but it's it's worth using in some situations, and that was one of them. Bison's Ultra 1 connects even if they fall all the way to the ground. I think you only lose one hit, and the hit does like 20 damage, so... Bison's Ultra 1, I think, charges kind of fast. I'm pretty sure it charges kind of fast. I think Bison has some irregular charge speeds. Yes, casual matchmaking in my chat. The best. Vega has irregular charges. His roll takes longer to charge, but I think they changed that so it's normal. And all his other charges are abnormally quick. Nice. Ultra Bison is pretty cool. Whoa, Scrafted, not actually leave. Someone said you were AFK. Hold on, I'll add you back in. Scrafted has returned. The prodigal, the prodigal Scraft. Hold on, I'll add you back in. There was discussion on stream. Ooh, good combo. The scissor kick is pretty strong and has the speed of a, I think a light scissor kick. The startup, I mean. The combo's after lights anyway. No, don't worry about it now. You can, I can re-add you. It's you didn't. Nothing, nothing's even lost. I don't even think Kamsis has had his game. Like I think we can just like go and and add you again without any trouble. Unfortunate on the towards fierce. Good juggle. Nowadays Ryu can actually do jump strong, but I don't think he had time. Ex, uh, Ex Tatsu is a very good reversal against Bison because uh, Ex Psycho Crusher does not. Or EX Tatsu is a very good media attack, because EX Psycho Crusher goes right through it without getting, without hitting Ryu. And then Ryu's Tatsu on the backside catches Bison and gets most of the hits. That was unfortunate. Red Focus Swift. That would have been good damage. Now Bison has pretty much no hope of landing an Ultra. Alright, never mind. There it is. Rob is playing pretty well. IP girl. Ryu and Ryu and Sakura, huh?
The way that frames are calculated for charge is a little bit different, and also I've got a game against Unicorn Trap, and if I manage to win, I'm up against CJB, which is terrifying. I'm going to get that in. Who the fuck is Unicorn Trap? You and me, going at it. He's a guest. I've never played him before. Is he a member of the group? He must be, right? It seems unlikely that he wouldn't be if he's here. Oh, yep. Fuck you, Rob. Him is in-game. Shit. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. I try to avoid that meticulously. His unicorn trap. A good connection. Not for long. Oh great, it's not flare. Oh great. I do not like this matchup. He's famous. I don't know who he is. In my opinion, I'm famous. <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have slid that. Oh. Uh, I tried to stand strong it. And tearing in this matchup is my bane. Wow. As a reversal? <laughs> that really worked. I tried. <sighs> That's nothing. Ah, uh, caught me jumping. What the fuck? He teleported too early. Ugh, that's the worst thing. Okay. He had a bad fuck up. He tried to alter me. <sighs> that was ugly. This Lana costume is not actually anywhere in the game. It's a failed throw. meter to a victory as long as I can make him block anything. <sighs> as soon as I hit jab, I wasn't even counting him. Does that move even counter hit you? Whoa, I took the back roundhouse. I hit him too high, I think. Back roundhouse should have worked. I'm not dead yet. I'm dead. I don't think I had to wake up there. I mean, I can try a character that's not Elena, but I feel like my best hope is Elena. I'm just gonna go at it again. Do not like this matchup. I had an EX uppercut after the Sphinx Hype in the corner that I probably should have gone for. Right, let's try and have a more active Elena, and we'll see if we can make that work. Oh, 
I only got hit by like two focus attacks. I didn't lose to focus. I'm not even sure how I got hit by two focus attacks in the same round. Fuck, I could have held it. Things are suddenly looking very bad. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Outside his throw range, I think. Also, I think that was an ultra, and I think he failed an ultra. It was a it all comes down to this. Fight! That's nothing. How long will this go on? Ooh. That was a really bad punish, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Ah, I blocked. I missed some hits there. <sighs> I'm alive. I definitely feel like I'd have more opportunities to land Ultra 1 than Ultra 2. I'm gonna keep rocking Ultra 2 though. Oh, very good jump. Mm. That really comboed. Fuck. Not good. because I was crossed out. I tried to go from down back to the new down back and crash attack. Or like jab, more accurately. That's, I needed that. Ooh. If I didn't hit a button, would I still have gotten hit there? Normally, too narrow in the air to get hit by those. Try to walk under it because I'm a complete retard. Damn, I thought I was being pretty, pretty reserved with those. Ugh, I tried taking a throw. What's the frame dead after that? The 
this all adds up. Especially if he's going to choke like that. Ah, I won! I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to win. <laughs> I was expecting to lose. Oh, my heart's beating so fast. <laughs> I can't handle this. Can't handle. <sighs> He was, his randomness ended up helping me more than hurting me. How's losers going? But fails only Chan Grave Gun. Is that happening right now? What games are due to happen right now that aren't currently happening? Crookie Jeffro, are you two playing? Looks like things are going nicely. Um, user, you're already in the right place. No, you go one more game. No, you're already in the right place. We stop at top eight and losers. You're already in top eight. Uh, but fails only. Chan is apparently good to go. He's fighting up against. Oh, he just. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, this all works. He's up against Grave Gun. Let's get him. I don't have like. I don't have the. I don't have the mental fortitude to play in a real tournament. Shit, dude, time slowed down. I don't even feel like I won because I was better, though. I feel like I was one because I got lucky. Uh, where is our grave gun? Grave gun is present. I hope ZG score was reported. I imagine it was by now. Yeah, long since. Who's Optimizer? I right, imagine starting in a second. Seth actually has a lot of really nice counter picks under his belt. Seth is the worst matchup of a lot of characters. I feel like... I don't know if I think Seth is top tier. I don't think Seth is top tier. But I feel like Seth is... Seth has some pretty nice matchups overall. North America. Fight. Fight Rob doesn't like this matchup. I don't think this matchup is particularly one-sided. I'm pretty sure this matchup is about even. It might actually be a little bit in DJ's favor. I wouldn't even be that surprised. I know it's very slow. It's a very slow matchup. Slow and turtly. Seth top 10? I think I agree with that. Hi, Raimu. Raimu. I'm good. Just running my tournament. Geef top 10? I don't know. I wouldn't put Geese in my top 10. Maybe top 15. I don't even know if I'd put him in top 15. I don't think Geef is that good. I feel like Snake Eyes is really good. But I don't think Geef is good. Geef is also a character who's a lot of people's worst matchups. Rob is playing this pretty well. He's getting a lot of meter. He's not taking many risks. I think that was... Could that be a failed ultra? 
Does DJ's Ultra even punish there? Elena's well, number one. I don't know what number you meant to put, but Elena's number one in my book. Can you fierce DP Evil Ryu Stomp? As whom? As Ryu? Uh, you can fierce DP the light one, but not the medium or hard. And you can fierce DP the EX. Fierce DP shouldn't be your punish on any of them, though. But it works on light and EX. Optimizer lost his match. Wait, is that so? Zephyr, give me the confirm. That bum Jaren is indeed in here. Whoa. Bison wins that bunch. Combos. Hey, that's that three frame jab. Always nice in a pinch. Oh, good response. Oh, Sephiroth did in fact win. There's a dispute going on. Yeah, this is... Bison is... Bison is one of the hardest characters to not get chipped against. If you're a chip help versus Bison, GG. Ryu, huh? This is the counter pick. This matchup is, in my opinion, like 5.5, 4.5 Bison's favor. Maybe even. I feel like it's closer to even than 6-4. People say Bison beats Ryu, but I don't really think that it's very prominent. I think people just have a really good knowledge of Ryu's matchups. This matchup did get worse for Ryu in Ultra, I argue. None of Ryu's ultra changes helped him, but Bison's ultra changes helped him a bit. And Bison already beat Ryu then. So maybe we're well into the 6-4 territory. Gravegun's playing super solid. That was Crouch Fierce. You could have anti that. I didn't anti-air at all versus Bison. I was too scared. I'm always too scared to anti-air. Oh, there was a... I'm pretty sure there's a punish there. Ryu can actually EX uppercut. Oh, nice things. Ryu can actually EX uppercut a stomp, I think. But it might only get one hit, and it might be shitty. Hey, jump fierce, beat it, crush fierce. Maybe it was too early. That was kind of the range where we should use stand fierce or stand roundhouse, though. He always has medium uppercut. I think that was like stand fierce range, though. That too. I think he could have got a stand fierce anti off reliably. Gravegun's playing super solid. I like this. Ooh. Wow, it's like a fail safe jump. Struggle. Why is Bison so cool? <sighs> that's like the furthest that that's still a punish. And like the latest that that's still a punish. That was kind of cool to see. That was the absolute limits being put on that move. The ex Sucker Crusher, when your opponent is cornered, is kind of a better option because it recovers faster. So that was a relatively riskless EX Psycho into the corner, but it was still punished. Damn, Gravegun is playing super solid. I get the feeling like he knows this matchup a lot better. Jump strong there, it goes a little higher, and also it does a lot more damage when it works. Whenever Bison does that, you just jump in strong. And then you get uh, jump strong into Tatsu juggle. Or else he does the um Oh! Oh, that was a failed it was a failed low forward. I think it was a plank. Judging by the normal. Judging by Jab Short. Very solid. Very solid Ryo. That was cool. He dropped two low forward links from Jabs right at the end, where either of them would have killed. But he didn't take any risks. 
So it didn't matter that he dropped anything. I like seeing shit like that. I like seeing backup plans. I feel like the backup plans are sometimes more important than the regular plans. One to one. Yeah, I feel like Bison shouldn't really jump in on Ryu that much. I like the Devil's Reverse building Meteor a little bit, but Ryu has a pretty good answer to that. He can get Bison to the corner pretty quickly, and Bison doesn't escape the corner as well as he does versus most other characters. Oh, where's the uppercut? That was like very clearly uppercut range. Okay, there it is. He found it. Okay. He's trying to counter poke the scissor kick with blow strong, maybe? That's very difficult. The chances of you getting counter poked by the scissor kick are higher. Interesting. Bison at a small health lead, small meter advantage. Ryu has an ultra, he can land more easily, though. That's a big factor. Ryu's usually at a slight advantage in endgame. Oh, good tick. Good fake cross up. That's an ultra. Beautiful. Super solid replay right now. <laughs> that actually worked. Where you can low profile that or just straight up anti-air it. Crutch medium kick, crutch fierce. Um, Medium uppercut. Pretty much everything works. You can even go for an early light DP and get a nice struggle. That was a crucial jump that he just dropped. Sand medium kick is really good in this matchup. I don't understand why he's not doing more of it. And um, that would have been a nice combo had he hit it all. Off the jump in there. I feel like this is one of the matchups where Bison kind of ditches stand hard kick for stand medium kick. I feel like stand medium kick does a lot more work. You use them in pretty much the same situation in this matchup anyway. That's a good response. He's got like no meter though. If I were him, I'd like try to win I'd try to win this round, but I'd try to build some meter in the meanwhile. Good stand fierce. Anti-air hitbox of that looks pretty nice actually. I've never seen that used before. Not as an anti-air anyway. RIP Bison Stand Fierce in Street Fighter 5. What he got in its place is arguably better. But RIP that normal. Ooh. No medium uppercut? That was a free one. That was 40, 40 free damage. No anti air. Crutch Fierce works reliably versus Rear, I'm pretty sure. Stomp does a lot of damage. He jumped too late, or perhaps jumped strong too late, or something. That should have been a jump strong. Now he has the ultra, so he should definitely be thinking about that. Rob is jumping so, so much. Oh my god. Oh, that was nice. EX fireball, EX fireball. And no, it wasn't. Always quick stand. Rob, always quick stand. That, would have, that was the difference between an ultra punish and a slide punish. That was the quick stand there. Now Rob looks like he's, well, he's looking to take it. He shouldn't do anything. Actually, that's now is like a fine time to try something. I think a Devil's Reverse kill is in order. Ooh, wait. Wait. Oh, never mind. That was solid. That was good play on both sides. I really enjoyed that game. Rob, you had your back to the wall there. You got, you got a little lucky, I feel like. Stay on. We're going to have you against user. I like how that little crown makes him first on my friends list. How come I don't have a little crown? Hmm. GG. He logged. I got to tell him GG back. I'm stealing, I'm stealing user's crown. I can't. I can't steal it. Wait, there I got it. Yoink. Stolen.
Alright, where were we? Damn, Rob, if you could get, like, jump-in combos, you'd actually, like, have won way faster, I feel like. <laughs> You got like a bunch of, like, I shouldn't say a bunch, but you got several, like, good jump in connects, and then you just, like, like shit the bed with the follow up, like a crouch jab into nothing. Oh, what a lovely line of color. User has, um, decided to join the dark side and pick up Elena as a main. I've not actually seen nor fought his Elena yet, so this is kind of exciting. I wonder how it differs from mine. Alright, already he demonstrated um, that you can hit the uh, EX overhead link more often than me in the tournament. I think Rob has more wins than losses against me in tournament. Bison Elena is almost definitely 5-5 from my experience. It doesn't really feel good for either person. Nice combos. I find stand short to be much easier there. You go for a 2 frame link instead of a 3 frame link, but you have an easier you have a you have a stand a buffered cancel. Which in general makes the the cancel much easier. Oh, it's he should have mashed it out. He should have just done it. <laughs> stand jab, stand strong would have both anti there. Yeah, except for cut? Yeah. Bison had to jump in to punish that. I think he could have gone over her. He had to jump really early though. Oh my god. User. I know mostly just lames in this matchup and hits lots of stand jab and doesn't do anything else. Same as normal basically. Oh, the reset into the... Oh, why that combo? That's neat. You should actually do the EX Spin Scythe there, not the... Spin Scythe does a lot more damage for one bar in the corner. Rob could still win this. <laughs> what was that? I saw some buffering. I think it was an EX DP. But he didn't go through with it. He chickened out. User on then's Elena was actually very solid. Benom doesn't like it, huh? Honestly, I don't even feel like it's a bad matchup. It's a matchup where you have to play differently, but fuck, it's a matchup where you have to play differently with Elena, too. Alright. A little bit of meter build snuck in. Those LK stuff scissors. The button that people think is crouch light kick is almost always crouch light punch. Crouch light kick is awful at stuffing almost everything. It's very short. Um, it doesn't have great counterpoint properties either. Nice one. Line is EXDP kind of sucks. Um, those crouch jab stuff scissors depends on the timing. If Elena misses stuffing the scissors, she loses like 100 damage, 100 health. And if she succeeds, she gets like 30. And it's usually too far away to get a combo. So... Yes, Crouch Jab can stuff scissors, but it's not that good for Elena. It's not like Crouch Jab reliably stuffs it or anything either. Failed Stand Strong Link there, I think. I don't know what he went for. Probably Crouch, crouch Short. No, Stand Strong doesn't even Link, right? He has to do Stand Short. Wake up Ultra. No, you never... That was... That's not what you do. So many people do that wrong and then, like, blame the matchup. It's like, you just don't know the matchup. 
You wait to see if she does a full heal. If she doesn't do a full heal, you don't have a punish at all. If she does a full heal, you have, like, hours to punish. When you say crouch short links, what do you mean? Oh, nice. What the fuck? That was really, really terrible meter use. That was a pretty cool combo, though. Why the fuck did he FADC there? You FADC when you, like, uh, in the beginning of a combo, or when you've got, like, an ultra to land? That's not gonna hit. It goes pretty high. Oh, you need more dashes. You need to keep on going for a while. User doesn't have a good way of winning this matchup, though. I mean, not user. Uh, Rob. Oh, yeah. Cross short links. That's his main link, I think, because that's his fastest normal. That was an ugly match, but user was pretty pretty good. Apart from a little little bit here and there of nonsense. Let's get Sephric's game in. R.I.P. my Oni Chan. User literally cannot keep playing. This is the first time we're spectating a Sephric match all tournament. That's new and different. He's up against the Jeffro. He seemed really strong when he was playing in winners. I'm not surprised he made it this far. Hey Rob, did you play Bison in Street Fighter V? Did you fuck around with that game? I've been fooling around with Bison, but he's really fun. I fooled around with Birdie the other day. Very fun character. I had a really good time playing him, and I normally don't like grapplers that much. I was doing.